With NBA 2K Prelude being just around the corner, a lot of you guys are probably wondering what build is the best build to make in NBA 2K21 current gen. Well, hopefully after this video, you're going to get a little bit of insight to help you make the best build for you. Don't go nowhere what's good welcome back welcome back it is your boy bake if you like nba 2k tutorials jump shot videos how to's and you just want to get better at nba 2k 21 and you want to know the news from your boy bake make sure you keep it locked like comment and subscribe turn on them notifications be part of cook up nation man today we got a dope video we're talking about builds what's the best build what's going to be the best build in nba 2k 21 before we get into that i need to know in the comments below five seconds what build are you making in the comments below for the nba 2k 21 prelude take care of that Thank you for those who comment. You already know I'm going to reply. So, hey, I'm a stand-up guy. <laughs> but anyway, hey, you want to stay to the end to find out what build your boy Bake is going to make because I already have an idea of what I'm making in 2K21. But let's get into today's topic. What is the best build in NBA 2K21? We don't even know yet, but I'm going to give you some suggestions as the top builds that people usually go with in most of all 2K. So without further ado, let's jump into some of the dope builds to make. One thing you want to consider when you're making a build is your player style or your player type. What do you like to do? Are you a shooter, defender? Are you a rebounder? Do you like to do a little bit of both things, right? That will help you improve on knowing what kind of build do you want to make. Nine times out of 10, a lot of the builds that do extremely well in NBA 2K builds are defending builds, dribble builds and shooting builds i know that's pretty much the gist of basketball right dribbling shooting passing whatever the case may be but those are some of the three top builds that people make a shooter a defender a playmaker and a little bit of both but you have to identify your player style what kind of style of play do you have because that's going to help you pick the specific and the right archetype for you Next thing you want to consider when making a build is badges. You want to try to maximize the amount of badges you're going to be getting for any specific build that you choose to make. If you make a build that don't give a lot of badges, then that means you got to hit legend to be able to maximize the most of that player. If you're not getting a lot of badges off rip, then you're going to be playing pretty much not having fun because you don't get all the badges because we know badges overpower overall okay hopefully in 2k21 overall and badges are balanced but technically it's always about the badge before the overall for the most part so you want to make sure you're getting the most badges for each bill you're going to make without the badges you can't perform to your maximum ability so make sure you maximize the badge okay you want to balance okay you don't want to be one dimensional where you have a whole bunch of shooting badges and you ain't got nothing else that means all you can do is shoot we saw that in NBA 2K20 that a lot of players only was able to do one thing well. They was only able to play defense. They was only able to dribble. They wasn't able to do a lot of things. But for the builds who was able to have a bit of a balance, those builds was amazing. Even if you had a sharp shooting build, they maximized their badges and they maximized their builds by allowing more badges on other things like sharpshooting facilitator, you know, two-way slashing playmakers, right? You gotta make sure that you're using the badges the best way to help maximize your player. Another thing you wanna consider is height and wingspan. These two things are so crucial in 2K ever since they introduced this into the franchise. So you wanna know what is going to be the meta. This year, smaller players was the meta. Smaller players were able to be successful. Smaller players got a lot of better, more attributes. Even my small forward that I made, my shooting defender, I made him 6'6", and he's become a demigod. He damn near jumps higher than centers who are seven foot three. Yeah, there are some occasions where I don't get rebounds, but I do a lot of things. I'm able to shoot, dribble, pass, rebound, play defense. He's like a quadruple 
build okay and so you want to know what is the meta you don't want to make a small player if the meta is a tall player you don't want to make a tall player if you know the meta is a small player or i should always say maybe make the balance build make a balance height okay something that can do well in small or tall like six five six 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 seven and maybe six eight depending on what kind of position you're going to be but six five six 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 seven six eight and sometimes even six four are really balanced builds balance height balance wingspan you can make a six four height and make a longer wingspan because you can sacrifice some of those attributes because you're going to be able to do more things with your longer wingspan okay so you want to make sure that you know the meta in 2k21 hopefully these tips have helped you we know the prelude is just around the corner and if you stayed this long i'm going to give you the biggest tip that can save you vc and save you time on making the right build now if you want to make the best build in nba 2k21 all right you listening to me you want to make a dual build do not make a one-dimensional either playmaker only sharpshooter only you want to make a dual build you want to make a build that's able to play defense and a build that's able to do multiple things shoot dribble dunk all those amazing things and that build that build is these two things and those are the playmaking slashers and the sharpshooter and defenders you can make a great sharpshooter and defending builds to be able to shoot dribble and play amazing defense and you can dunk with the best of them and the playmaking slashes are fast explosive and they can do some amazing things with the dribbling and they play defense as well and so you always want to be versatile when playing nba 2k all right so hopefully that helped we about to get up out of here i love y'all appreciate y'all live life stress less you're rocking with one of the best without the man upstairs my life will be a mess cook up nation we the best. I love y'all. Peace.